I believe that at this time in America, right, with everything that people think and all the misconceptions that exist, some of the things Donald Trump has said, et cetera, do you ever think that you could play an important role in America loving and accepting our Middle Eastern brothers and sisters? Because, I mean, it's amazing when you think about all the prejudice that exists and a man named Khaled Khaled, mm -hmm. who looks like you do mm -hmm. and is from your background, but Palestinian descent, mm -hmm. getting this much love in the world. It's a beautiful thing. I think it's very impactful for the world, honestly. Man, thank you. You know, it's just, it's, you know, it, you know, it's sad that there's any ignorance out there because, you know what I'm saying, we can't condone in ignorance and we don't condone days. You know, me and my whole life, I've never, ever, I don't care where you're from, what nationality, I love everybody. I love everybody, and that's the key. You know what I'm saying? Love is the answer, and I promote love. You ain't going to get, I don't care. You could piss me off and try to make me mad and try to make me fold. It's not happening. It's not going to work. Meaning as I'm not going to say nothing ignorant, nothing. I show love, and that's what it's about. It's about peace, love, unity, and it's just about great energy. You know what I'm saying? Because we have life. You know what I'm saying? People take that for granted. We have life. You know what I'm saying? And while we have this life, you have to you have to embrace it and 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 uplift us. Me, uplift me when I see you. When I when I greet Ebro, when I greet, I, I say bless up. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Immediately. Have people reached? I saw the president reached out to you. Um, they they reached out to help with health care. Have other sort of serious places reached out to you because you have such an incredibly huge following now. Where you can reach people with your message. I mean, it, people reach out to me all the time, but I just do it because I want to do it. Meaning as in, you know, anything I promote from music or anything I do, just know if I promote it, it's because I really like it and I really love it. And that's what I love about everything I do. I really love um, Epic Records. You know, Epic is, last time I can remember, was Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah. Michael, <laughs> Michael Jackson. Jackson. Like, yeah, you know, right. he was on Epic. Did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> so is DJ Khaled. You know oh. what I'm saying? Like, like you know, I look at that. That's how deep I go into it. You know, my manager is Jay-Z. I love to promote my manager, uh, my partner. It's Jay-Z. Somebody that not only I'm a big fan of his music, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm a big fan of the way he moves. You know what I'm saying? And respect. You know what I'm saying? Apple. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love apples. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really love apples. Like, and I'm with Apple. Like, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, it's not. But it's true. No, you know, try to tell you, anybody out there, it, 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 it's so great when you can promote something you love. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, that's what makes it real. That's what makes it connect with people. Right. If it's that's what I'm trying to tell you. Callum, when the next time you do the Apple thing, can you do, you love iPhones too. Of course. <laughs> no, no, of course. And I do love, and, no, no, listen. And you love MacBooks. No, we do. DJ, I do. Listen, I got the MacBook. You know, before I had the Apple deal, I've had the MacBook iPhone. And no, I really okay, live okay. on this. Like, so. It makes it authentic. Man, listen, I cried. I cried. I cried. Tears. But when you got that deal? Yes. All my deals, I ain't gonna lie. Passionately, I cried. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't ashamed of nothing. You know what I mean? There's times I just go in my hotel room, I'm on the road. You know, you can ask J1. Sometimes I just, you know, I black out and I'm in a meditation mode. And I'm in my room and I'm just like, I cry. Of like, man, because I'm like, man, they try to count me out. Meaning as in like, they ain't want me to have this Apple deal. They ain't want me to have this Epic deal. They ain't want me to have Jay-Z as my manager. They ain't want me to have... The movement, all my friend artists that I've been down with from day one that we like this. You can't break that bond. You know what I'm saying? And they try. Trust me. They try. Well, that's what they do. Right. And they they failed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so what I'm saying is like failure alert. I, I'm just I'm just like, I'm just as man. Well, I'm, listen, I'm, we're I'm just blessed. as happy. I mean, listen, obviously we just sat here. I remember we watch it day by day. We get to work and be like, man, you see Cal on Snapchat yesterday? Yeah. And we'd all talk about it. And then day by day, I hit Jay ones. I go, man, Jay, how many views are you getting right now? What's he getting right now? Oh no, it's serious. I know the first time I talked to him, Jay ones goes, well, we checked the other day, he, he had five hundred thousand views. Uh -huh. The yeah, next time I talked to him, he said we had a million views. Oh no, we had like. And now, I, how many? You how many millions you're in? Over ten, right? Like every every snap, um, it's like like you know because it's twenty four hours, uh -huh. so like it gets to like six million. Um, some days three million. Some days two, some days four. It just depends. But millions. Like, sometimes I just sometimes I'm snapping like a hundred snaps. I just be in a zone. You know what I mean? But what I did learn about Snapchat was, first of all, uh um, give thanks to Snapchat because it helped connect me with my fans. 
Meaning as in, you know how you have a radio show and, and, and the interview we did last time was a major connection because, you know, I came in here with it, like, was just straight up, like, I ain't trying to, like, you even try to come on a question, the first question you got, no, shut it down. <laughs> like, I'm not having it. Like, I'm not coming here for that. I'm not having it. And if you do, it's just you're playing yourself. <laughs> Let me go ahead and make it clear. So the connection happened. So Snapchat brought the connection. So by me saying that is, do you know my Snapchat has more viewers than any number one TV show out? Like, say your favorite show you love and the whole world watches it. You know, mine has probably double, triple the numbers. Yeah, I saw a headline on that. No, it, no like, but it's real. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're making more numbers but, but, than but, the but Big me, Bang Theory. Yeah, but let me tell you, but <laughs> but let me tell you the key. Well, that's because Seattle's funny. Big Bang Theory sucks. No, the key is because... <laughs> hey, don't you just rally. No, but let me tell you something. The key is, that's why I'm trying to show you how powerful love is. Because we promote love and positive, yes. positivity and good music and good energy and just my personality. Because, uh, you know, when y'all see that, y'all know I'm really that. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It's just me. You know what I'm saying? So, what? I'm not a secret no more. So that Snapchat is an antenna to say, you know what? Let me promote. Cal is promoting this positivity and love. You know what I mean? And when that happens, you can't stop it. Meaning, as in, that's love. That, the, the message basically trying to say is, you see what I mean by staying focused and positive? How what it'll do for you? It's incredible. Even when it's storming, yo, you know how many storms I've been through in my life? No, I'm talking about real storms. Forget money situations. That's like a joke to me, a money situation, because I'm going to get it regardless. Even if tomorrow it all go tomorrow, I'm going to get back up and get it. That's called hustling. It's called working hard. No excuses. But I'm talking about real life storms. You know what? I've been through some sh You know what I'm saying? And that's why I give thanks every single day. What I'm trying to tell you is the key is to weather the storm. And that's what I mean. Don't fold. Because when it gets it, when it get real hard, say tomorrow they fire you. Man, don't give up. Man, stay focused. Because once they, you know, that, that's that's the day trying to finish you. You got to get up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, people might laugh at me when I work out. And I'm really working out. I'm just a fat boy working out. What am I supposed to do? Not work out? I fell when I did a sit-up. I got back up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the key. You know what I'm saying? Basically, what I'm saying is, man, stay focused on that path. You know how nice that is, though, by the way, that you do that? Because I remember the first time I saw Cal with his shirt off, and I'm like, well, I mean, keep in mind, I wouldn't take my shirt off on Snapchat if you paid me. And I was like, man, Cal's taking his shirt off on Snapchat. And then as time went on, you kept doing it. I went, man. But always. It, when, that must make people, but that you, you give strength to other people who might not be comfortable with their body image. Yeah, that's, that's real. And, and my main key is be yourself. Like, if you come visit me in my house, you come to see Calvin Klein boxes <laughs> and no shirt on. It's just. <laughs> It could be anybody. Like, I swear to you. I forget, like... And you make them work out. Listen, listen. People come <laughs> in and yo, Cal, put a shirt. I'm like, I keep... You got my crib. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm in my flip-flops, in my Calvin Klein. I'm vibing. You know what I'm saying? That's every day. You know what I'm saying? And if you know Cal, it, <laughs> that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to change who I am. I'm only going to change to be greater. You know what I'm saying? That's why... evolve. I, yeah, evolve. You know what I'm saying? Like... That's the key, you know what I mean? DJ Khaled, ladies and gentlemen, on Ebro on the Morning, Laura Styles, Rosenberg. Khaled will be bringing friends. The yeah. world. Summer Jam. Summer Jam. Summer, Summer Jam going to be crazy, man. Like, Summer Jam's crazy every year. I'm excited, you know, um, this this Summer Jam, uh, I'm, the, what I'm putting together, I'm getting with Ebro and the whole team, and we putting together something so amazing. Every How many day. years is this for him on Summer Jam, Ebro? <sighs> Started with the, uh, the year we did... Uh, was lean back the first year? Was uh, lean back no, the, the first year? No, the first year we did. Uh, was we taking for, over. Yeah, we take. Ooh, okay. And it, and it was raining. That's when Puff Daddy said good night, everyone. And I, I was like, Yo, Puff, I'm, I'm on after you. Puff's my brother, of course. No, I don't mean like you know, it's a rock. But what I'm saying, that's how <laughs> that's how powerful Summer Jam is because you know everybody got their set. But see, I was backstage, and. You know, this is my first time on Summer Jam, and you see DJ Khaled backstage with Lil Wayne, Fat Joe, Birdman, um, Rick Ross, T.I., and Akon. And this is, what, damn near nine years ago. Yeah, no? 08, No, this 07. is like, you know, the prime of, you know, and I'm backstage and more artists, you know. So everybody walking backstage. Because that was the year like, you did Scenario, too. Yeah, everybody's saying, Khaled, what's he doing? 
about to hit that stage. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. And it started raining, and I'll never forget. And Puff was performing, and he was Puff was ripping it down. I think he had Lil Kim yep. and Benjamins. He was yeah, ripping it down. The and then, you know, he put brought the bad boy, said, you know, I'm a that's Puff Daddy. And then boom, he said, and he said, New York City, summer jam, good night. Like theatrics. Like, yeah, you know, because you know, Puff make movies, so it felt like the show was over, like oh, Summer no. Jam was over. You know, Ebro always tried to put me at the closing or something like. Well, because you got nine thousand people. No, on no, thing. I get it. But so, I was like, "Yo, it ain't over yet." I'm like, "Man, hurry up and get me on, like, because you know, because and, and, and it started raining." <laughs> Whew, you got it. <laughs> so that was that was one classic year, and it was mine. But the one I loved the most was when I brought out Ross and BMF just came out that week. Yeah, and. Uh, Barrington Levy. I was like, yeah. and I had a hundred people on stage, like, yo, move back. And then, boom, oh, scene. Boom. And then Barrington and Levy came, late. bust the whole place open. Yeah, then I'm like, oh, you think I'm done, New York? Oh, you think I'm done? <laughs> and I'm moving everybody back like this. I mean, go look at the footage. I'm not lying. No, I and, remember. And then Cameron come out of nowhere. I really mean it. Whoa. <laughs> like, the whoa. Special water <laughs> spill alert. So, and then the whole place exploded. I did so much more. It's, I brought like, in fact, Joe leaned back. Yo, you brought out Damian Marley one year with the big flag. Man, listen, yeah, that it, yeah, and, the... uh, uh, Junior, uh, ju um, One Blood, and yeah, just so much. What? Wait, you said scenario um, once happened? No, no, I think what about Buster out? Yeah, we're I don't about know about Buster. Yeah, about Buster. It, so all this, we're gonna make a movie. This year. I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna and, make and, a movie. And how crazy is it? All these years, Khaled came out, and and the crowd, I think, would all go, "Yay, there's Khaled. We love Khaled. He's like a friend." This year, Cal oh, is going to come out and they're going to go, ah, yeah. DJ Cal! Now, listen, now, nah, fan love. Let me tell you something about fan love. <laughs> oh was that loud? Sorry. I'm going to be real with you. I was going to invite fan love coming up here today. What do you mean? You were going to tell everyone to just uh, be downstairs? downstairs? Yeah, 395 but, Hussies. Yeah, I was going to do that. Fan love, meet me at Hot 97. Then I said, you, you know don't what? watch him do that on Snap? But see, the reason, why I, the reason I didn't do it because I just know, like, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I tighten up. I'll be yeah, like, yo, yeah, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, things are sensitive around here. Yeah, yeah, so I just kept it. But fan love, <laughs> I, that's who I do it for, man. I've always, in my whole career, was always about my fans because, and that's what I meant. I never really cared what, and when I say this, cared what they had to say. Oh, because that, that's not the people that's supporting us. That's not the people that make Hot 97 number one. Not they. They don't make it a number one. The fans do. That's, right. That's why you care about your listeners and how you, your, your summer jams. You do this for your fans. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, I'm real personal with mine. Even when I only had one fan or two or three and it's kept growing and growing. And now it's the world. You know what I'm saying? Fan love is real. You know what I'm saying? And, and I feel like I know every single one of them and I love them. You know what I mean? I love my fans. I love them. DJ Cali. Give it up for him, man. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank Roddy you. Cal. Rock Nation. We epic. the best epic. Man. Apple, Apple. Music. He wow. loves apples. What I live out. Ciroc. Ciroc mm -hmm. Apple. Ciroc Dawn. You know, there's Ciroc Boys and there's Ciroc Dawn. And that's me. That's facts. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, 100 new deal alerts. I can't wait to tell you. More no, look, deal. Look, Cal, I want to start something on the show because we've had segments. We have two segments, I think. We have You're a Liar. Which yeah. is a DJ Khaled segment. Yeah. And we have Congratulations, You Played Yourself. Yeah, yeah. Which every day. Every, we do these both every day. Every day. Yeah, 720. Every, every day, yeah. 720. You know, you know I got all y'all on Snapchat. I want, you love art, obviously. Yes. She loves so, art. I like some of that art. How can, I want to get... Oh, my God. You got to put me up I, on yes, something. I will. I got Take you. Take me some of these because you got some you. fly stuff on I there. I got you, Khaled. So I want to start a new, like, a motivational segment. He, we want to give him a third segment? Like some sort we of. We just like, gotta move out of here and let Khaled have the show. Let's just be DJ honest. DJ Khaled in the morning? And no, DJ Khaled and friends. And we'll all be in <laughs> friends. And friends. There you go. You never know. I might have to do the. Um, um, if I'm in town early enough for. Um, I mean, one of these times, one day you should let me do a. Uh, let me be an Ebro seat and yes, Ebro and y'all say. You know, just, just for one day. I'm talking about like. like we taking like, over. No, do your show how you do it, but yes. I just do it my way. Yes. Please. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm 97 <laughs> low. Who is? And I'm going to come with a talk that you never heard in your life. Please. Like, unbelievable. Ebro. Friday you just want tickets to Jam. Summer Jam and also don't what, ever play yourself. What about, like, you know what, about, what about the week of Summer Jam? I mean, I... I, I gotta make sure the scout. I don't want to say yes and then and, and then <laughs> we'll talk play to myself. Pin you know what I'm Pin saying? I gotta get with the team. Like the schedule. I ain't gonna lie to you. When you see the schedule, I, I'm confused because I don't know how I'm gonna do it all. <laughs> like I don't even look at it no more. I wake up in the morning and it's tell me where to go. Yeah. Because if I look at it, you're gonna it's, you get it's, overwhelmed. No, bro. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Like, but you do it. That's all. No, we're doing it. It's like every day is something. I'm like it's some. 
We got to do it. We got to do it. We got to <laughs> give thanks.